When titans collide, the auto industry quivers. Morgan Stanley speculates a colossal merger on the horizon, envisioning a world where Tesla forges alliances with GM or Ford. It's a tantalizing prospect of unity in the automotive jungle. GM has now agreed in writing to place their electric battery manufacturing under our national master agreement. Joining us now is Mark Fields, former Ford CEO and a CNBC contributor. Mark, there's so much to talk to you about where the auto industry is concerned. We'll, we'll start here because Tesla uh, is such a big mover and does have such an outsized impact on the market and is certainly still seen as the leader in EVs. Your thoughts on the dynamic pricing that we see this company on a near daily or at least weekly basis uh, employing? Morgan Stanley speculates a potential Tesla merger with Ford or GM within three years. The auto industry is growing with several companies announcing ambitious plans to launch their own EV lineups in the coming years. And governments around the world are implementing policies to accelerate the adoption of electric mobility. Therefore, a merger involving Tesla, Ford and GM would be a groundbreaking event considering the differences in business models, corporate cultures and market positions. Today, we're going to explore the possibility of this merger and what that could mean for companies and the entire auto industry at large. So keep watching as we unveil the potential outcome of this imminent groundbreaker. Mark, uh, zoo out for me here. Uh, talk about the U.S. automakers. If I were an investor, I'd be afraid to buy the domestic automakers when EVs are the future. They take fewer people to make. But the United Auto Workers are pushing for a contract here that one might argue is going to create some structural challenges for, for the U.S.-based industry. Uh, what's the counterargument? So when you look at what the UAW has been asking for, which is over a 40 percent increase over the life of the contract, and when you add up some of the other things and benefits that they've uh, come in with their opening position, I mean, you're, you're, you're looking at widening that disparity, you know, significantly. And the automakers what about cannot half? afford them. Can, can, can they get half of what they want and, and it still pencil out? Uh, it'll still pencil out because when you think about it, John, the Detroit 3 sell a lot more large SUVs and full-size pickups than some of their import competitors. And those have quite nice profit margins on them. But at the end of the day, as this transition to EVs happens, I mean, let's face it, EVs right now, with the exception of Tesla, nobody's making money. And as the uh, automakers, the legacy automakers ramp up, they're going to have to work down uh, the piece costs mm. to get those EVs to an acceptable margin. So you could argue there's, for a period of time, there's going to be a restructuring of their margins. And that's why every penny counts in building a car. And that's why I think the automakers are going to be quite strong in pushing back on some of these demands from the UAW in their contract negotiation. A merger between strong auto leaders will truly be groundbreaking. Already, Tesla is a dominant player in the EV industry, known for its cutting-edge technology and innovation, while Ford and GM, having made significant strides in EVs, are more established in traditional ICE vehicles. Therefore, a merger could bring together Tesla's EV expertise with Ford and GM's expertise in traditional vehicles potentially creating a comprehensive portfolio covering both segments. But how will this happen? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Tesla has been at the forefront of electric vehicle technology, and has continuously pushed the boundaries of what is possible. And the automaker was one of the first companies to introduce long-range electric vehicles with its Model S, and it has improved its battery technology and charging infrastructure too. Even though the competition is beginning to emerge, Tesla's early mover advantage, combined with its relentless pursuit of innovation, has placed it ahead of the pack. By owning the entire value chain, Tesla has established a strong competitive advantage, making it difficult for other companies to replicate its business model effectively. In 2022, Adam Jonas, a well-known analyst from Morgan Stanley, predicted that by 2030, Tesla will surpass the overall market share of Ford and GM in the United States. According to his estimates, Tesla will have an 18% stake as compared to a 10% for Ford and a 12% for GM. This is just to show how well Tesla is grounded in the auto business. So imagine if Tesla combines its expertise with that of Ford and GM. Think of the auto titan that will be birthed from that creation. But before we carry on though, if you're liking this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. 
a merger could facilitate cross-pollination of technologies, where Tesla's advancements in battery tech and autonomous driving could enhance Ford and GM's capabilities in these areas. These shared expertise could lead to faster innovation and development and more efficient and advanced vehicles. Also, combining the global reach of the market presence of Ford and GM with Tesla's strong brand and presence in the EV market could create a powerful force in the automotive industry. This could aid in faster expansion into various markets and a stronger competitive edge against other international automakers. Already, Tesla is starting to take steps through licensing its supercharger network, and probably FSD too. Tesla recently struck a deal with Ford Motors to give access to 12,000 fast charging stations in its network to Ford drivers. The deal is said to be aimed at combating range anxiety among car shoppers by doubling the number of fast charging stations in Ford's North American charging network. Several analysts like Ross Gerber and Dan Ives have described this as an impressive move by Tesla and Ford, adding that both companies stand to benefit greatly from the collaboration. Similarly, Elon Musk has previously talked about licensing Tesla's FSD to other automakers. The Tesla CEO announced that Tesla is considering licensing the software to other companies, and according to him, autonomy will be a significant lifesaver, and he believes it will be morally right to license it to other manufacturers who would like to use it. In 2022, Musk said Tesla will support FSD licensing to other manufacturers. He added that this is something that will happen once FSD is fully solved and Tesla has reached level 4 or 5 autonomy. According to the Tesla CEO, it makes sense from a financial standpoint for Tesla to license the software. Musk also noted that licensing FSD will become another stream of income for the company. While speaking about it last year, Musk said that it would take five or more years before another company besides Tesla is able to solve FSD. Analysts have also agreed that many will come to the realization that Tesla's lead is impossible to catch up on and would rather just license the software. Tesla's achievements are not just ahead of its competitors, but also novel and game-changing in that it will actually reshape the world we live in now, and how we interact with it too. Elon Musk thinks that full self-driving will become the most important source of profitability for Tesla. It will also have a profound impact on improving safety and on accelerating the world towards a sustainable energy future through vastly better asset utilization. Tesla has a unique approach to vehicle manufacturing. They regularly release over-the-air updates that bring about new features, performance improvements, and bug fixes to their existing fleet of vehicles. Therefore, merging with other high-ranking companies could bring about better technologies. Merging companies could benefit from economies of scale in production, purchasing, and research. Likewise, as regulatory requirements on emissions and sustainability continue to tighten, a merger could help the companies collectively meet their goals more efficiently. By consolidating resources, they could accelerate the shift towards electrification and meet evolving regulatory standards. No doubt there will be challenges, such as different cultures, management styles, and processes, intense scrutiny from antitrust regulators, and maybe having to gain approval from shareholders. However, if it happens, then this could be a game changer. Although it would be a highly complex endeavor, this merger will bring about unique opportunities in terms of market positioning, technology sharing, and sustainability goals. But what do you think? Do you think Tesla could have a merger with Ford or GM in the future? Let us know down below. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.